Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So today I just thought I'd share some label printing hell with you all. So my Dymo finally died, and I use this one for shipping labels, which uses these labels, not the thinner ones that I use for customer laptops. So I got this little Rolo thing here, and I'm trying to set this thing up. And I'm, I told it that I'm using Dymo 3252 labels, I believe. So I logged in to this thing that Rolo has so that you can actually connect to the printer. And I set it up as I do not have four by six. I have 1.12 by 3.5 inch custom label. We save the changes. And then when we go back to Rolo and we print a test page, it comes out like, like this printer test. And when you actually try to print a label to it for a customer, that is going to come out like, I'll show you right here, eh? like this. Just got to make sure that I... Yeah, needless to say, not, not working it's pretty ex very well. So I go over here and it says, okay, here's how you can set it in Windows printer settings. You, you right click the printer, you go printing preferences, and you do not get what they show you here. You get this. Uh, if you scroll, there's still hope because there's an advanced button over here that I didn't hit. So let's see, I hit advanced, and then it's gonna say paper size with a roll down. And when I hit advanced, I get this with no drop down. Um, I'm starting to understand why Dymo can get away with paper DRM. I really am. This is like my third label printer that I've tried at this point, and I'm about to throw them all out the effing window. Like the, I, I hate saying this about Dymo because they're such a shit company for the paper DRM, but that thing just works. Like you plug it in, you say what type of label you have, and the labels just come out and they look beautiful. Oh man, it's like I, I, I don't, I'm very close to giving in. I'm very close to letting them win. I don't want to let them win because they did a very shitty thing with the whole paper DRM shit. But, yeah, like, see, see this? Look, see? It still thinks paper size 4 by 6 when it is not. And when you go to printer preferences over here, roar! There's no place to pick the size. Oh, man. Printer properties, what do we got here? Eh? Eh? And nothing. We got nothing. Okay, what about this? Paper available. We have literally blank. Can't, can't type into that thing. Oh, man. I honestly, like, if I were Dymo, I probably would have... If I were Dymo, I probably would have gotten spoiled and thought I can get away with this shit, too. Because, like, yeah, it really is this bad when you zo go away from Dymo and try virtually anything else. Anyway. See you on the next video. Bye now.